Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Can Visa Pathway. In this video, we will discuss in detail how to renew your PR card. We will also discuss in case you lost your PR card or your PR card was stolen or it was damaged. We will discuss in detail how you can get another PR card if you have these situations. So we are going to discuss these topics in detail in this video. The first one is IMM544. So this is online application form which we need to fill out to get our PR card renewed. We will also discuss how to fill out checklist and how to upload it to online application. The next one is we need to have digital copy of our passport and PR card. For the passport, we need first and last space plus all the stamps. For the entry and exit you have, you need to scan and to put all together in one document so that we can upload to the portal. The next document which we need is digital photo. So we need to upload digital photo to the portal as well. So make sure that you have a digital copy of yourself. I will provide specifications of the photo later in this video. Then we need to pay $50 of fee for the application of permanent resident renewal card. The next document is representative form. If someone else is representing your application, then you need to provide this form. If you are applying on your behalf, then you don't need to provide this representative form. The last one is declaration, which we will discuss during the video. And if everything is okay, then our file is complete and we can submit. Before we start this video, if you are coming to our channel for the very first time, please consider subscribing to our channel to get most up-to-date news, tips, tricks about Canadian immigration. Let's begin. Open your Google browser and search here Canada PR portal and click on the very first link and scroll down here if you have an existing account you can simply log in here if not then click on create an account and here provide your email address then provide your password and confirm again then tick on I have read and accept then click on create account so we can read here we emailed you a verification code so we need to go to our email id and copy this verification code from here then enter your verification code here and click on complete registration now we have successfully created an account at uh, the portal so we can log in here using our email id and password now you can see that we are successfully log in to our pr portal once you in scroll down and go all the way down and click on start permanent resident card application so here select the option that best describes your current situation so here I will select here I am in Canada. If you want you can read this disclaimer and scroll down and tick on I have read and understood this disclaimer. Then click on apply PR card. For the video purpose I have already filled out this whole application so that we can discuss each and every detail about renewing of resident card. So let's click on view. So scroll down. So here it asks a question that is your PR card request urgent? If it is urgent request then click on yes. Then you need to click here and select your reasons of urgency. Once you select your reason of urgency then you need to upload here approve for the urgency as well. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna select here no, my request is not urgent and scroll down. So here you can see list of forms which you need to provide to renew your PR card. The first two forms IMM544 and IMM5644 are mandatory we need to provide in any case for the renewal of PR card. 
other forms you need to only fill out if it is applicable for your application or your situation. Here I want to discuss about use of representative. If you want to renew your PR card by yourself then you don't need to provide IMM 5476 which is use of representative form. If someone else is representing your application means that they are preparing this application on your behalf then you need to provide this use of representative form. Let's go over first form IMM 544. I have already filled out this form so I will click here on edit. The first question is please select the situation that applies to you. Click here and you can select option as per your situation. If you want to renew your PR card then select option first. If you lost or your card was stolen or damaged then you can select second option. Usually your first PR card get delivered to you automatically and you don't need to apply. Then we need to provide UCI number which is 8 or 10 digit reference number. Usually this you can find on your PR card and then you can enter here. Then you need to select here your language, let's say English. Then you need to provide the date you become permanent resident in Canada. This you can find on your PR card as well. Then next which we need to provide here the place you become a permanent resident in Canada. So this thing you can find on your COPR and you can enter here and save and continue. Then we need to provide here personal detail. Here you need to enter your first and last name as per your record on landing paper or COPR or your last PR card. So you need to provide exactly as it is written on your official documents. If your current name or present name is different from the name you provided above, then you need to enter this name here. Then you need to provide supporting documents as well that you have changed your name. For more instruction, you can simply click here legal name change, then scroll down physical character, select your gender here and go down then you need to provide here your eye color then provide your height as well and these details are also available on your PR card you can double verify and then you need to provide your birth information the day you were born next select your country of birth you can select from here then go down and here please select the country of citizenship the country you are citizen of you need to select from here if you are holding multiple citizenship then you can provide other country of citizenship as well next you need to provide your present residential address in canada so you can provide here and if your mailing address is different from the address above then you need to provide here if not leave it blank and go down then we need to provide our primary telephone number inside Canada so select Canada and inside type select cellular and provide your phone number inside Canada if you want to provide alternative number you can provide as well and scroll down would you like us to contact using the email address you provided for this account so here they are referring to the email address we used to create this account if you want to use that email as your primary email of contact then select yes if no then provide alternative email address so that they can contact you then provide your current marital status if you are single select single if you are married then you need to provide the date you got married for the purpose of this video i will be selecting here single and then click save and continue next is immigration history so these all questions you need to answer as per your situation so the first one is have you ever been issued a removal order from canada no the next is has an immigration officer ever issued you an inadmissibility report no have you ever lost your status as a pr of canada no next is have you ever submitted an appeal to the immigration appeal division no have you ever been issued any following document which is travel document or pr travel document 
if any of the document was issued to you then you need to tick here if any of the question you provided answer yes then provide all details inside this box but for the purpose of this video i'm gonna say that i didn't have any travel document and uh, i will untick here and save and continue then we need to provide here personal history first thing you need to provide here address history inside and outside of canada so list the address of the past five years if you become permanent resident of canada less than five years ago then you need to provide address history since you become permanent resident of canada here you need to keep in mind that you need to provide your address history from most recent address to your oldest address so here for example i have provided my address history of last five years or you can say since i become resident of canada the most important which you need to keep in mind when you fill out your address history that there must not be any gap between one address to other address for example you can see that from 2017 january 1st to 2019 december 31st i was living in montreal at this address then i moved to another address from 31st december 2019 to 2021 july 15. So you need to provide your address history without any gap. Otherwise, you won't be able to save your information and you won't be able to move forward. Here, I want to mention one more thing that if you moved out of Canada for certain time of period, then you need to provide those details as well because you need to provide address history inside and outside Canada as well then the next thing which we need to provide here work and education history of past five years or if you become permanent resident of canada less than five years ago then you need to provide work and education history since you become permanent resident of canada here i want to mention that when you provide work and education history inside and outside canada don't leave any gap between one date to other date if you are unemployed simply mention that you are unemployed or you are taking a break from study or from job so once you provide these all details save this table then click on save and continue let's move to the next point residency obligation the time you spend outside of canada the first question is have you traveled or lived outside of canada in past five years if yes select yes if no select no the next is have you been employed on full-time basis by canadian business outside canada no have you been accompanying a canadian citizen who is your spouse or common law partner or in the case of child your parent while you were absent from canada no have you been accompanying a pr who is your spouse or common law partner or in the case of the child your parent and who's employed on full-time basis by Canadian business outside of Canada? No. The next point is time spent outside Canada. So here you can see that period to be assessed. So these dates will be filled out automatically as per your answer you provided previously. So here in this table, we need to provide all the places we visited outside of Canada in previous five years before you fill out this table i want to mention that you need to provide here reason of absence as well so here you scroll down you can see that your reason of absence must be for one of the following it could be a b or c if it is not out of a b and c then you can provide here other so here you can see that i have provided one example that i was out of canada on these dates here so for example you can see that i was out of canada on april 14 2021 to may 14 2021 and i was in delhi and my reason of absence from canada was others so i provided here that i was on vacations you can easily find these dates out of canada from your passport you can see your entry and exit stamp and you can enter those dates here click on save table and scroll down all the way 
and then click on complete and return to the application. Let's see the next document which is mandatory for the application is checklist. So you can simply click here and download the checklist. Then we need to fill out this form. So once you open this checklist, then you need to see here which documents are mandatory and you need to put a tick mark in front of those documents. For example, the first document which is mandatory for the application is IMM544. So we need to make sure that we complete this form. The second document which we need to provide that we have paid the application fee for renewal of the PR card. And the third one is we need to provide this checklist, the one we opened just now after we fill out everything. The next thing is we need to provide photos for the application. If you are preparing online application, then you need to provide one photo. If you are preparing offline application on paper, then we need to provide two photos. The next document which we need to have or you need to upload to the portal is your passport. So you need to have a digital copy of your passport for the first and last page along with all the entries and exits stamps on your passport. The last thing which we need to provide also is your PR card. So you need to have a digital copy of your PR card which you can upload to the system. You can simply go over this whole checklist and you can see if there's any other option which is relevant to your condition simply tick that and save this checklist once you save this checklist you can upload here the next is use of representative if you are applying this application by yourself then you don't need this document but if someone else is representing your application then you need to upload this uh, document as well so simply click on download and then open this document. So once you open this representative document, so simply on the section A, you need to provide applicants information. So the person who wants to renew the PR card, so this will be that person's details here. So you need to provide here the surname of that person and then you need to provide the given name of that person along with the date of birth. So then move down then provide here uci number and then move down in section b appointment of the representative so you need to provide here representative's full name so the person who is representing your file so provide that person's family name here then provide given name after that move to the next point your representative if your representative is your friend or family member then simply click here and move forward and then move to the seventh point here. Then you need to provide here your representative's full address inside Canada. Then provide here phone number and email address of the representative if applicable. Move to the next point number eight, your representative's declaration. Your representative needs to provide signature here with the date and then move forward then move to the point 10 here the applicant who is applying for the renewal of the pr card has to sign here with the date once you sign here the representative form is done you can simply save and go back to the portal and you can simply upload here so for the purpose of this video i'm not going to upload here representative form because uh, I want to renew this application by myself so scroll down and then let's go to the photo section so here you need to have a photo which is taken no more than 12 months for the specifications and requirement of the photo you can simply click on this link and you can go to this page and you can see that these are the requirements of the photo and you can take this paper to your photographer and you can have digital copy so that you can upload to the portal. Let's go back. I will click on edit just to show you how to upload the photo. So scroll down here. Click on the first option if the photo was taken by professional photographer and you received in digital format. If not, the photo was taken by a professional photographer and it was printed on paper. Then you scanned 
If this is the case, then select second option. And then you can upload here. If everything is good, then click on declaration tick mark and go next. So once you are done with uploading front of your photo, then we need to upload here back side of the photo. So the physical photo you have with stamp of the studio and your name and date of birth, you can scan using your printer and then you can crop to the right dimensions and upload it here. Once you're done with the photo section, scroll it down then we are moving to the documentation section for example we want to upload our pr card and passport in this section for uploading passport and pr card here there's a method that you need to label you need to rename document name as per this format here so each document which you upload here it has to be in this format so for example that you want to upload your passport here so this document will be given name here your last name dash your first name dash document type which is your passport and then dash number one for example you want to upload your pr card then the name of the pr card document will be your last name dash your first name dash pr card dash number two let's see here select the document type and upload so click here and select from this list passport the first document which we want to upload so once you select here then you need to upload using this option here once you're done with the password then you need to click on pr card and upload here again you can see that i have already uploaded my passport and pr card and you can see the labeling of the documents as well let's move forward proof of payment so here we need to upload the proof that we have paid the application fee for the renewal of pr card to pay application fee simply click on online payment and then scroll down on this page so here you can see that option 2 select the application type I will select here permanent residence then are you paying for right of permanent residence fee no and then you click here see list of fees so this will take you to another page scroll down and click here permanent resident document this will take you to this page pay your application fee online as we want to pay only for permanent resident card so I will select here quantity 1 in front of that and submit and then login and pay click here then you can see that we need to login here if you have login username password here you can simply login if not you need to register an account here then you can pay application fee for the renewal of PR card using your credit card or debit card once you paid the application fee for resident card go back to the portal and upload the proof of or copy of the fee payment receipt so once you're done with the payment section scroll down and let's go to declaration so here we need to give consent and declaration so we will click here on start consent and declaration so we need to tick the boxes which applies to us so I will simply click here you can read all of them so here I didn't tick here because it says that if this form pertains to the child under the age of 14 which is not the case so I didn't tick this box here after that scroll down and signature of the applicant applicant needs to type his name here then then provide the city you are living in for example montreal then provide province you are living in for example quebec and the country will be canada are you currently out of canada no so here i want to mention that we have completed our application for renewal of permanent resident card once you have 
provided all these details you are ready and complete this application so you can click on complete and return to the application once you click here your application is done if you have still any question or any doubt about this video you can leave a comment in description i will definitely reply i hope you guys find my videos useful i always try to bring videos which could help you and help you learn and be independent if you like my videos please consider subscribing our youtube channel can visa pathway thank you very much